Zen, dude, nation, what is happening? Have you ever noticed that in every single boxing movie, the star of the movie, the boxer, is just straight ripped? Not only are these dudes or dudettes ripped, they also have this athletic look to their physique that makes them look like an absolute badass. Think about dudes like Sylvester Stallone in Rocky, Jake Gyllenhaal in Southpaw, Michael B. Jordan in Creed, or even the dudettes like Hilary Swank in Million Dollar Baby. Not to mention real life boxing stars from present day, like Mayweather, Roy Jones Jr., Holyfield, Sugar Ray Leonard, and Mike Tyson. Not only were these guys absolutely shredded, but they had an athletic look to their physique that's very much in alignment with what you've probably seen us talk about before, which is the Zen Dude physique. Lean, muscular, and athletic. Today, we're here to talk to you about the exact training that you need to do to create the ultimate boxer physique. Now, to those of you who are really into boxing and want to know exactly what you need to do to actually be able to fight like a boxer, this is not a video for that. Understand that this is a video strictly teaching you how to get the body of a boxer. So how to look like these guys. If you want to get more tips on like how to actually be able to perform like a boxer, I'll link you to our boy Mateo's channel. I'm going to talk about a regimen that he gave me earlier, which is very much in alignment with a professional boxer's routine. So you can go check out his channel. He'll give you everything you need to know regarding how to actually fight like a professional boxer. Today you're going to learn how to look like a professional boxer. Before I get into the video and share all the juicy details of how to get that boxer physique, shout out to our sponsors over at Crossrope. You're going to see in this video I use a speed rope. It's the bolt set by Crossrope. So if you want to get that rope, that's one we use when we're training like boxers and I'll link that up in the description below for you. Now on to the body breakdown of a boxer. All right, so there's two ways you can go about creating the boxer physique. Number one is how professional boxers actually go about it, where they're training three to six hours a day, six to seven days a week. Really, it's your full-time job. The second thing you could do is work out 60 minutes, five days a week, and really dial in your nutrition. Personally, I'm doing a hybrid between these two things. I'm doing a little more training than like what's necessary, but that also gives me some more latitude to eat some more food. So today, I'm going to give you the two options, and you can decide what route you want to take. So in case you do want to train full-on like a pro boxer, I got the regimen that my boy Mateo from Cartel FC Boxing YouTube channel did and he told me yo this is what you do I used to train at Freddie Roach's gym and this is what I did this is what other boxers like Manny Pacquiao did so if you want a regimen like that this is what you do but understand that this is really a full-time gig so if you want to do this you better not have much else going on in your life so I'm gonna read through the regimen now every single day so six to seven days a week you're going for a five mile run in the morning then later in the day for like an evening or late afternoon workout you do jump rope for 15 to 20 minutes, followed by a specific boxing routine where you're doing several rounds of warming up and push-ups, followed by 12 rounds of boxing where you're hitting the bag, you're hitting pads, you're sparring. And so each one of those rounds is gonna be three minutes long, so it's 36 minutes of just really high intensity exercise total. Of course, you're gonna break this up, so it's gonna end up, like I said before, as I go through this whole thing, taking you three to six hours a day to do all this. So the next thing up in the regimen would be 10 minutes of bag work and floor to ceiling ball, followed by 500 repetition on the abs, gradually increasing the amount of ab work you do over time. A lot of boxers do talk about the fact that they do up to like 1,500 crunches a day, some of them even more, and so that's why it takes so much time, but really, this is what the pros are doing because it's their full-time job. So you can start to warm down your routine with another 16 minutes or so of skipping, so jumping rope like we always do as Zen Do Fitness, and then some stretching if you like. So in addition to all that boxing specific training, which you already heard is a ton, you're gonna incorporate weights Monday through Friday as well. So Monday you'd be doing chest, so five exercises of explosive chest. With a weight you're pretty comfortable. So you're gonna do four sets of 15 repetitions for each one of those exercises. On Tuesday, you're doing the exact same thing, but you're gonna do it for your legs. Again, explosive. Everything you're doing when it comes to boxing weight training is about explosiveness. So if you are doing a bench press, you wanna imagine you're pressing up and you're doing it as if you're gonna be throwing a punch. And this goes across every single type of training you're doing. Even when you're doing a squat, you wanna explode up as if you were kicking through someone. And of course, we don't kick when we box, but it's really to train your body to be explosive, whether you're lunging you got someone doing a jab or whether you're actually throwing a punch. So Wednesday we got shoulders. Again, we're doing five exercises, four sets for each exercise, 15 reps per set. Then we're moving on to Thursdays where we got back exercises, same regimen guys, nothing changes. Uh, Friday 
we're gonna do more uh, leg work and we're really gonna focus on high, high reps here, low weight, and again, all explosive weightlifting. And finally, after you're finishing up the weight training, again, you're gonna go back and do either some more shadow boxing, you're gonna do some bag work, you are gonna get at least another like three to six rounds there. So. In total, this is going to take you between the morning and your afternoon or evening routine between three, five, six hours a day, depending how you space this out. It's a ton, but I wanted to give it to you guys and make it available if you do want to actually get into training like a professional boxer, this is available to you. But as I'll explain later, it's not necessary if you just want to create the boxer physique. So for this kind of regimen, you're not worrying so much about body fat because you're training so much that any fat you have on your body is going to disappear very quickly. So what you want to do is actually calculate your calories probably for a calorie surplus so eating more calories than you think you're gonna expend we linked our calculator in the description below set that calculator on high protein if you're a guy or medium protein if you're a woman also put that calculator on being highly active when asked how much exercise or movement you're doing and take those numbers and get as close as you can the most important thing is you're hitting your protein numbers and honestly you just need to eat a lot of food to keep up with the training you're doing. Something I will mention when you're training them this much, you wanna make sure that you're not losing out on muscle mass you have in your body. And so I would recommend incorporating branch chain amino acids into your diet supplement regimen. Not 100% necessary, but it's gonna help you maintain that lean muscle tissue you have on your body already. If you want the BCAs we use, I'll link them in the description below and I'll talk about them more later in this video. Now, on to option number two, which is probably gonna be what most of you wanna do, okay? Unless you came here and you're like, dude, I'm really trying to become a professional fighter. If you just are here to get the physique, let's get into that. Let's tell you what you need to do. So like I said earlier, you can really dedicate about 60 minutes to your boxing workout every single day. Uh, you can even take off the weekends, but at least make sure you get Monday through Friday locked in. And when you go in there, you can't mess around. It's all business for 60 minutes straight. Intention is on everything you're doing, okay? There's no talking to people at the gym. There's no taking time off to go like, like, check your phone. When you go to the gym, you dedicate yourself for 60 minutes straight, give it everything you have, and that's how you're gonna get out of there in only 60 minutes. So you're gonna start off by skipping rope for about 15 minutes. So when you're doing that, you're gonna give yourself about three minutes of skipping nonstop, followed by about 30 seconds of explosive push-ups, and follow that up with 30 seconds of rest, and you're gonna do that for four times total, leaving off the last set of push-ups. So you got four sets total of three minutes of jump rope, and three sets of push-ups total. After you finish up with your jump rope, you can move on to doing explosive weight training. So like I said before, the same thing as if you're training as a pro boxer, everything's explosive, right? Everything is bop, bop, bop. Whether you're doing a bench press or if you're doing weight training, you're working on your shoulders, it's bop, bop. Everything is super, super explosive. If you're not being explosive, you're not gonna train your muscles like a boxer would. So with that explosive weight training, you're gonna split up your body parts five days, so Monday through Friday, hitting a different muscle group on each day. It doesn't really matter how you do this. You can do Monday legs, Tuesday shoulders, Wednesday back, Thursday chest, and Friday bicep and triceps, something like that. And of course, at the end of each one of these weight workouts, you're also gonna be incorporating ab work. So you're gonna have about 15 minutes left in your workout when you get done with the skipping and the weight training. So you're gonna finish up each workout with a circuit where you're gonna be working at least four sets of abs. And you can do all types of abs. You can do leg raises, you can do sit-ups, crunches, you can do planks. The point is that you're putting more and more resistance on your abdominals so they can grow, become thicker, and more visible once you lose that body fat. So along with the abs, you can finish off with some shadow boxing. You can do a few rounds of weighted shadow boxing where you're holding you know, two, three, four pound weights in your hands. So two or three days a week, you can do weighted shadow boxing. And the other two or three days, you can do just shadow boxing without any weights in your hands working on your explosiveness. Now that's a workout regimen. That's really all you have to do. You can plus and minus things that you read about that other boxers do. So maybe one day you wanna get rid of shadow boxing and instead just work the bag instead. You can definitely do that. But remember, this second part of this segment here is not necessarily about how do you train to get to a level where you can fight professionally. It's more about how do you create the physique. But I'll be honest, it is really fun to train like a boxer. So if you have someone to do pads with, I would highly recommend doing some pad work for 15 minutes and do workout or incorporating 15 minutes of bag work where you're working on punching the bag and you would split that up into three minute rounds so three minutes all out effort take a minute or so break get back into it for three minutes do that for about 15 minutes total
So that is it for the workout regimen. Now let's talk about the nutrition regimen because this is gonna be a lot more important for someone who's not training 36 hours a day. If you're just doing that one hour per day and, you're, and if you're doing it five days a week plus or minus, then you need to dial in your nutrition. So again, we have our calculator linked in the description below. And what you're gonna wanna do is calculate your calories to lose weight, okay? So eating in a calorie deficit, getting as close as you can to hitting those macronutrient numbers, meaning you're hitting your protein, which is gonna be very important, and making sure that for your protein, when you calculate if you're a guy, you want to calculate it on high. So you're gonna, if you see the calculator, you'll know what I'm talking about. You're gonna go put that on high, and if you're a woman, you're gonna have it clicked onto medium, and then you're gonna click calculate again. Still, you are moving your body quite a bit, so you can calculate your calories for highly active as well. But here, you need to be a lot more conscious about hitting these numbers, because you're not training an incredible amount. You are training a good amount, more than most people, definitely above average, but if you wanna get that physique, we have to make sure that we lean you up and we remove that body fat so you can see that sexy box of physique that's hiding underneath. In regarding what food to eat, we always say the same thing. This doesn't matter what regimen you're doing. Try to eat 70% whole foods. That's foods that come from the earth or you know animals, so grass-fed beef, chicken, things of that sort. We have our grass-fed protein that's also linked down in the description for you guys, the ones that we use. Uh, we also want you to really focus on water intake. So if you're training a lot, no matter what you're doing, we want you drinking half your body weight in ounces of water every single day. So I weigh plus or minus you know 200 pounds a little less than that now but just to make it easy let's say I weigh 200 pounds I would drink 100 ounces of water a day